Hi, my name is Tracy Keller and I'm here at the Lake Metro Parks Kevin P. Clinton Wildlife Center and today we are going to be talking about what to do if you come across a baby bird. So um, it's important to know that it's you step back and observe the situation because a lot of times, nine out of ten times, that baby bird might not truly be orphaned. So wildlife parents are very devoted parents and they keep a close eye on their young and there's a lot of myths out there such as if you handle or touch a baby bird they won't come back and care for the babies that's not true so it's really important to step back and look at those babies and see what's going on maybe you could locate the nest and um, so today I have my little example are um, this American Robin so here's an adult mom very devoted mom she's going out and getting food for her young some species might only um, there might be one parent that raises that species so she's not going to be sitting on the nest all day long so you might not see that parent on the nest she has to go out and get food for herself and for her young so they're very busy parents so if you see a baby bird on the ground if it looks like this this is not fully developed this is a young robin and he is in his nestling stage as you can see his feathers are not fully developed and his feathers are in these little wax sheaths called pin feathers so at this point he's very dependent on mom and he should be in the nest now most often at the wildlife center we see birds like this and this is a young fledgling robin and you can see he's kind of scruffy and fluffy looking he's got some little downy feathers coming off the top of his head and a spotted chest so that is a young bird who just fledged the nest they are not good flyers at this time and they are out hopping around and parents are nearby a lot of times they'll still keep a close eye on them and feed them so they need this time to um, get used to the situation learn get their legs muscles a little stronger for perching and their flight muscles stronger for getting um, a nice strong flight to leave the nest so that is definitely a vulnerable time for these babies and they will it's just important to really give them um, the safety that they need so it's great for you to stay away from those babies and keep your pets indoors keep your children away give that baby space to learn how to fly get used to his surroundings outside the nest and learn what his mom and dad are doing out there so back to the first one with the nestling if you come across a baby like that on the ground he definitely needs help so today we're gonna to show you how you can make a nest for them to put them back up in the tree. If you can locate the tree, that's great. And if not, we have some samples of a nest. You can use a little basket and you wanna make sure you get some natural leaves or grasses in there and you can make your own nest to get them back up there. It's important to check the baby too and make sure he does not have any apparent injuries. So if he does have an injury, that is a situation you would have to get a hold of a wildlife rehabilitator. So I'm just gonna put some dry grasses and leaves in this box. I have a wide opening so mom could get in and out and I'd poke some holes in the bottom of this box as well. In case it rains, you want it to go through. And then I just put some twine here and we're gonna try to attach it to our tree. And then you're just going to get it back up off the ground. It's important it goes off the ground so mom can come in. So we have our attached new baby bird nest. Now you can put the baby bird back in the nest. And most importantly, you want to step back away from the situation. If you can watch from indoors, that's great. Again, I said keep pets away and kids away. If you are around that area, mom is not gonna come back. So that's really the best bet for these babies. 